हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टूडे वी विल बी कवरिंग फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट सम्स फ्रॉम परसेंटेज फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड स्कॉलरशिप राइट परसेंटेज इज सच अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी इजी बेस्ड ऑन फार्मूला राइट आउट ऑफ 100 मींस परसेंटेज सो वी विल टेक फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट सम्स फ्रॉम एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लेट्स गो अहेड फर्स्ट सम विल अपीयर ऑन योर स्क्रीन One of the Jila Parishad schools have 60% girls out of 120, and private secondary school of the same village has 55% girls out of 200. Find out the total number of girls in that village going to school. Okay, there are two schools, right? Jila Parishad and private. they have given the percentage jila parishad is 60% of 120 and private 55% of 200 they have given this information which is sufficient for us to arrive at the answer 60% means 60 upon 100 of means into 120 okay if you get confused then write one like this okay similarly here 55 percent of 200 upon one if you don't write this upon one it is okay in case you get confused with the denominator or numerator then better to write it okay first cancel zeros same number of zeros from the denominator and numerator one here one here one here one here what is remaining 6 into 12 and 1 into 1 that is one only okay here how much is remaining 0 0 0 0 gaya what is remaining 55 into 2 6 into 12 is 72 And 55 into 2 is 110. So they are asking us how many total number of girls going to school in that particular village. So we need to add this. So answer is 182. 182 is the answer. Very very easy. Correct? चल आगे बढ़ते हैं. In Nana Patel's farmhouse, there are 300 sacks of grains. Out of which 35% sacks are of wheat, 20% sacks are of jowar, 15% sacks are of turda, and remaining are the sacks of soya beans. Find the number of soya bean sacks in the farmhouse. Okay, total how many sacks are there? Everything is given. 300. Okay, and wheat. Wheat how many? Wheat plus jowar and tur plus tur. Everything they have given in the form of percentage. So let's add that percent. Thirty-five percent plus jowar is twenty and tur is fifteen. Since everything is in percentage, we can simply add them. So how much is the total? Thirty-five plus twenty plus fifteen is seventy percent. Percent means out of hundred, right? Out of hundred, seventy. ये तीनों के लिए हो गया. So soya bean के लिए कितना बचा? Hundred minus seventy. Thirty percent is remaining. For soya bean, so now total sacks of soya bean. How to find out? Thirty percent of total, right? So out of three hundred, thirty percent are of soya bean. So thirty percent of total, three hundred upon one. Let's cancel zeros. Be careful, students. Number of zeros, niche or upper same cancel होने चाहिए. Okay, now this zero I cannot cancel because I don't have zero here, right? Okay, so what is remaining? 
30 into 3 on top, 1 into 1 down. So, 90 sacks. This is the answer. Very, very easy. Percentage topic may egg be marks nahi chana chahi. Okay? Here I am writing it stepwise. But there, at the time of examination, you are supposed to do the rough work, fada fad, and arrive at the answer. But that fada fad means no silly mistake should happen. You should be extra careful while doing the rough work. Right? Or calculation. Chalo, aage badte hai. 25% of monthly income of Rs. 24,000 is spent for education and 20% is spent on books. How much less amount is spent on books? Okay. They have given total income. Total income is how much? Rs. 24,000. Education. How much are they spending? Twenty five per cent of this total income and books twenty per cent, right? This is what they have given. And the question is how much less they are spending on books as compared to education? See, students, here reading part plays a very, very important role. If you read the question properly, you will know in which direction you have to go ahead. Right? If you don't read the sum properly, if you assume something and then you do it, even though your calculations are correct, you will not arrive at the correct answer. So please be careful here. You are supposed to read each and every question properly. What have they asked? That is very very important. Okay? And here what have they asked? How much less they have spent on books than education. Here, in this kinds of sum, we find students doing 25% of 24,000. Then they will again calculate 20% of 24,000. And then they will subtract and arrive at the answer. I am not saying this is wrong. They will get the correct answer. But here, we are giving scholarship. Scholarship may steps are not important. Shortcuts are very important. Because we cannot compromise on the accuracy of the answer. But at the same time, we are supposed to save time. So, what we should do? We will avoid finding out 25% and 20% and then do subtraction. No. What we will do? 25%, 20%, percent. both are in percent. So, we will find out their subtraction, that is 5%. Now, straight we will find out 5% of 24,000. 5% of 24,000. Two zeros, two zeros. What is remaining? 5 into 240. Upon 1 into 1 is 1 only. So, let us not write it. 5 into 24 is 120. Please don't forget this one zero. 5 into 24 is 120. And this zero will be here. So, 1200 rupees is the answer. Correct? Isn't it easy? Students percentage is very easy. Straightforward questions will be asked. No tricky questions. So, you are supposed to read the question properly, analyze it properly and go ahead with the solution. Okay? We will stop here today. I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, study well and very important thing is, yes, enjoy studying. Bye-bye.